Welcome to Merritt Island at night. I got one. Today we're going on a very special adventure. We're heading out in a kayak at night to try and see bioluminescent comb jellies. Basically that means these comb jellies glow in the dark. That's right, glow in the dark. Glow in the dark! <laughs> so here, just outside of Cape Canaveral, Florida, this very special creature can be seen in the water in the winter time. Bioluminescence is a chemical reaction that happens inside an organ of the animal. It can be blue, purple, green, yellow, or even red. I'm tired, but I am really excited to see the glowing jellyfish and actually hold them. This is called the Banana River. Banana River. The Banana River is the same body as the Indian River. Okay. But Merritt Island separates the two. Good luck out there with the gators. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so our guide pushed us out into the Banana River and he told me, that this is a collector's jar. And, obviously, it's the net, so we can scoop up the jellyfish and put them in this jar, kind of like fireflies. You actually cannot see the jellyfish in the water, so we're just blindly reaching the net in and hoping we catch one. He said that it'll be neon green about when it's in the net, so we'll see if we catch one. Comb jellies, where are you? <laughs> we'll find them. You got one? It's a big one too. A big one? Hold them in one hand and drop water down on top of them with your other hand. See if he lights up. That's a pretty good size one. He's huge. I'm holding a comb jelly trying to get him to light up. Comb jellies only light up when they're touched. Nice. Okay, I think I've got the hang of it now. You put it in shallow water, dip it to the bottom, and then when it comes back up, you look for a little green speckle of light. Got another one. This one's big, he's growing. So a comb jellyfish is actually not part of the jellyfish family. That's why we can touch them and hold them and they don't sting us. Also, if you accidentally pull off one of their tentacles, or they just lose it on accident, they can grow one back. You got two more? Yes. Awesome. Do you see them? I think so. There's a ton of them. So comb jellies actually can't swim. They only drift around where the current takes them. They have no way of actually propelling themselves. These little guys actually eat anything that floats into their mouths, including little fish, bits of seaweed, and other comb jellies. <laughs> and other yeah, right? comb jellies. <laughs> I got one! Nice. How's he feel? Weird, slimy, like a jellyfish, definitely. Every couple of minutes, I'm giving them fresh water, and it makes them light up more. Oh, one popped into my hand. I got a hermit crab and a slug. What? Let me see. Oh, you did catch a hermit crab. I see him. Well, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. River is actually home to the largest concentration of these guys, horseshoe crabs. They are nocturnal, so since we are out here at night, you can find them in shallow water and along the shoreline. Oh wow, Eleanor! What? I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh, gross! It's hanging on to me. <laughs> All right, we got to go back to shore. You ready? Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. You look official, Eleanor. Hello. <laughs> Relaxing before our kayak tour. That's really bright in my eyeballs. <laughs> Sorry. Where can I put it that doesn't hurt? <laughs> One second. You're not focused. Still not focused. Hold on. Okay, go. Where's the camera? Right here, in my hands, okay. yeah. I know, I couldn't because the light. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to aim it down. Right. I think you're good if that oh works my, for you. I'm going to be staring over here. And you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs>